Hello, this is George Senator, the guy from Pittsburgh, and this is a little preface to Kathy's uh, video about the evil one, Ratty Patty. I ordered her a pair of insulated socks, like I've got the Buckluck socks, and I ordered myself a new backpack, because all three of my backpacks are falling apart. And I'll show you the backpack when I get it. Uh, she won't do an unboxing video of the socks, but she can show the socks. They're the same socks as I'm getting, except these have kind of a color uh, combination, blue and black and green and red and orange. And I was tempted to order the orange because she always wears a Halloween shirt, but I'll order those later. But one of the things with Kathy is she has to stand in the cold for the bus for like 20, 30, 40 minutes. And, and take another bus to get here or go somewhere else and I want her feet to be warm and she can wear those once she gets home because they're indoor out so outdoor socks all right have a great evening and stay warm and safe out there and by the way when I called Massey to order the socks they're in Wisconsin and it's snowing so I guess the uh, mid upper Midwest is gonna have a white Christmas and Greetings to Jeremy Nojoy, whose son turned seven yesterday. So that's why you didn't see Jeremy Nojoy. Hopefully, the Slacker King will be on our next video on Thursday for my NFL picks. He's been slacking. And I understand to celebrate his slacking, Post, General Mills, and Kellogg's are all coming out with a new cereal code, No Loops. And No Loops will have no cereal in the box. And you'll pay an extra dollar if you don't want the picture of Jeremy Nojoy to be on the box. That was their, their special Christmas No Loops item. They'll all have a variation of No Loops. So uh, they're going to celebrate his um, consumption of uh, no cereal. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, hope your son had a great holiday. I talked to your girlfriend. She's very nice. She couldn't understand my slacker reference. I had to explain when you don't do the videos, you're slacking, and maybe your Vikings would have won if you hadn't slacked because then the karma would have come out from the guy from Pittsburgh and allowed them to win. And my Steelers almost lost, but they pulled off a win, so I'm very happy about that. Next week, we got to beat the Patriots. All right. Have a great evening, people. I'm going to Walmart. Bye-bye for now. <coughs> All right. Welcome to Kathy's Corner. It's time for another Ratty Patty video. Uh, Patty's been very bitchy lately. She, uh, I told her about the car, and I told her we had to take the car back, and it was a big hassle. And she said to me, oh, well, you'll just have to save your money and get another one. And I'm thinking, uh, excuse me, you're not a Vulcan. They don't exist. So, you know, so, you know, so knock off the cold-blooded logic here. Have some compassion. And I told her, I said, say something nice. And she had the nerve to say to me, what do you want me to say? You know, you know, you show sympathy. If somebody doesn't have a car or breaks down, you don't have a cold-blooded attitude like, well, you just have to get another one. They already know that. They don't really need to hear that kind of garbage because that's insulting, it's sensitive, and it's a terrible way to talk to someone who's going through a crisis. So, anyway, um... See, I, I am very happy to report some things that have happened. Uh, she lent her uh, son $700. The only reason why she did it is because there's a trust fund for her two boys. And she thinks now that the father's gone, she's going to get some. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. So she let her... Son, do just about anything you wanted to do. And I told her, I said, you know, this is Paul. You know what he's like. And, oh, get the money back. And I'm thinking, yeah, well. So, 
I had to, you know, I used to, we used to really care about each other a long time ago. We used to really like each other. And I'm finding it hard to be sympathetic when something bothers her. So, you know, any, if anybody wants to comment on that, okay, go ahead. I don't really care because, uh, you know, I treated her as a true blue friend. And I don't let myself be uh, too close anymore because of the way she treats me. And saying... Uh, what am I supposed to say? Well, she knows what she's supposed to say, but she's being obnoxious. And she had the nerve to tell me, well, we've known each other for a long time, and we should be able to come out and say what we feel. Gee, does that mean I get to come out and say, well, Patty, you know what? You're a big, fat B word. You know, can I say stuff like that about her since she has no problem uh, you know, treating me like crap, talking to me cold-blooded, no sympathy, no compassion. You know, uh, I, just, I wonder what would happen if uh, something happened to one of her children. Her daughter got into a, a car accident several years ago. Maybe I should have said, oh, well, you know, things happen. But anyway, um... Oh, yeah, she ran for the elevator, and she slipped and she fell. She gave herself a black eye, and later on I told her, we're both 61. The body does not take to running when you get to be older, and we could have waited for another elevator, and I'd take her to the doctor, and I really didn't feel that bad about it, and, uh, you know, I was like, I don't know. It's just, I'm just having a hard time being compassionate. Maybe maybe it's my bah humbug holiday spirit talking. But, well. Oh, yes. And her son is so sensitive that he does wonderful things. He grows his own pot, which is legal, in Washington State. And then he runs around with two or three hundred pounds of it in the car. And his five-year-old son... And uh, I'm waiting for him to get pulled over, and I, I wonder what the policeman would have to say about that. So, all the love I can spare goes to Patty and her wonderful family, and I don't think I have anything else to say. Have a happy holidays, and goodbye. And thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. All right, push the red button.